Hello everybody, Sarah Marie Thompson here with wildandcreative.com. Today is, um, what is it? Um, today is a new moon day. Um, and new moons are always really, really good to set like brand new goals and brand new intentions because as the new moon, or sorry, as the moon starts to gain more magnetism and, and power working with our earth, um, your intention or your your goal basically grows with it, right? So that's the kind of backstory of why setting intentions around the new moon are really, really important because you know I have allergies like really, really bad. I've got a few things to talk to you about. So one of the things, well, the main thing is, you know, there's a lot of individuals out there trying to be seen on social media, right? We've got the ones that are just winging it like just whatever, like no, no real goal, um, just kind of posting whatever. People are following them because they're kind of interesting or up to something crazy or what have you, right? We've got the influencers, ones that are calling themselves influencers. And I want to kind of dive into that more because that's really kind of foggy for a lot of people. And then we've got um, the brands, right? The brands. What is a brand really? And like, you know, is that why you're showing up online? Or... Are you hoping to show up as a professional online? So, of course, you can be doing all of these things at once, right? You can be a little bit of all of these things. But it's really important that with your social media game or your just goal um, to get recognized, to be seen by more faces, to grow your social media, whatever you're doing online, it's really important that you have an idea of at least one of those things as your main focus. And I'm sorry, I'm going to be like sniffling because like I can't breathe. Um, let's talk about brands first because I feel really connected to the brand idea um, because I have always pretty much had a brand first and foremost. So the Wild and Creative brand was started as a brand, started without even an idea on how to monetize and it was basically created to help people understand that they have the power to create every single moment of their life. Like you are a very creative person. You don't need to be a designer or an architect or an interior designer or an artist or what have you to, to create like whatever you want, right? You can just do it as you are now. So that really is like how my brand got started. And then it really moved into the idea um, that I really wanted people to understand that me, as a more of a mentor on that side of things, I really help people, um, help them align with their magic, with like their creative gold, and build a business from that place. Um, that's kind of how my brand kind of started to, to creep out into other areas, right? And that's totally normal for brands to totally switch and move over the years, right? You're probably never going to have the exact same thing you started with, right? Even if we take like a brand like, say, what's well, a really popular, like, it was like Walmart, okay, because they're, they're a brand. So Walmart, I remember, you know, back in the day, um, they had a little bit of a different message, right? Or it was it was more like thrifty even at first. Um, and then they just moved into like mass production. Um, and they're everywhere, right? So whatever you want your brand to be, it's just really important if you want to move forward as a brand first and foremost. Now, of course, you can still be an influential brand, but the idea of a brand really represents a need, right? Like, what's, the, what's that need, right? So for me, it would be the need for individuals that are in my community or that I work with to use my services um, to help them fully understand what they're here to do, right? Especially as a creative person, because as, as of creative people, we don't really, we get really jumbled up and we don't understand like where to focus our energy. And that was my problem for a really long time. Um, but when I figured that out, finally, I was like, oh, this was so simple. I'll along and so that's what I help people do right so that's the need for me whatever the need for you is for your brand will be different right but it's all about um, representing a need so as an influencer there's so many people online now calling themselves influencers I'm an influencer on social media which is great if you are an influencer that has a strong message to share with the world right a strong message that they can um, provide to the world that's going to help change the world in a positive way. If you're an influencer that just like wears a certain pa like 
type of clothing or something like that. Like, come on. Like, yes, you might be super popular, but come on, share a strong message that's going to be, like, beneficial for everybody and that's going to help people change their lives, right? There's so many influencers online, and I don't even want to name names, but we all can, like, you know, pick some out, right, that have such influential power over mass amounts of people, and yet they decide to make poor decisions, right? I guess they're just doing their thing. I guess they're just being them, but but they make poor decisions even around, you know, like type of clothing that they wear. Maybe it's like animal fur or something like that, or, um, you know, just, I don't know, doing something maybe that's not the best. And all of a sudden it becomes like the thing to do, right? Or that it's okay because this influential person has not kind of taken that next thought or that next moment and been like, I could actually influence people in like a much more positive way. So if you are looking to be more of an influencer online instead of a brand, you don't really have a brand, but you have a strong message that you want to share with the world. And also, too, um, you want to share kind of like your thoughts and feelings on things, right? This would be kind of like on the day-to-day, -day, maybe you're like a lifestyle blogger or something like that. That would also be more of like an influencer, right? Um, you have an interesting thought pattern on the way that you do things. Um, it's a way of living. It's a way of thinking. It's a way of being. Um, you have a strong message to share. Uh, what else? I guess you're more like social media um, social media goal oriented goal oriented right because that's a little bit more so than a brand although brands very goal oriented with social media these days but of course you can have that off social media right but influencer is just someone that really wants to that really wants to change somebody's life right if you're listening right now and you're like yeah i think i'm an influencer like it's you want to change other people's lives or the world in some way in a positive way through your thoughts and feelings and the way that you see things the way that you think of things the way you do things right so that's the difference of kind of like a brand and an influencer. Now, you can definitely be a brand and an influencer, right? Like, th those are two things that would match very, very well together. The other thing that I brought up was being a professional, right? So there's a lot of individuals that are very well educated online, educated doing the thing that they're doing, right? doesn't necessarily mean college or, or university or degrees or what have you, but just really understand and really know the ins and outs of what they're doing, right? And they w usually are seen as a professional in their field. If they are doing one thing and they're doing it right and they're, they're, um, they're reaching a bunch of people and they are helping a bunch of people, like we can pretty much say like they're a professional in what they do. So that's another thing. It's like, do you want to be seen as the professional, right? Where the professional is not so much the influencer or so much the brand. They are more seen for their, they're more seen for, I want to say, I don't want to say like education, but they are more seen for their knowledge, right? And for, um, yeah, their directive knowledge and how they can really reach people through that and how they can help people and make that transformation. Now, there are so many people online that are, are all of these things, right? They're the brand, they're the uh, professional, and they are the influencer. If you cannot pinpoint one of these things for yourself, it's going to be a little bit harder to understand how to kind of show up, if that makes sense, right? So if you can pick one of these things first and foremost, and you can be all of them at once, but if you can pick one of them first and foremost, it's going to help you show up a little bit better. So for example, if I'm looking at this for myself, I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm like all three of these things pretty much, right? I'm all three of these things. I definitely have been a brand since I've come online eight years ago yesterday. Um, I started the connection to creative brand, which then moved into the wild and creative brand. And then I moved more into like mentorship and did that whole kind of more professional side of things. But also, too, I really do feel like there's a major influential piece there, too, right? Because I have strong messages that are everybody is creative and create their own life, right? Um, if the world was more creative, it'd be more uh, be more of a harmonious place, right? If you think about, like, all the, all the different countries that are in turmoil and just people that are um, not feeling seen, heard, felt, right? If they're able to express themselves, like creativity like it heals right so that's another one of my messages and then another one is you know I'm a major animal lover major nature lover um, I love everything green and you know I just want you know the world to be a happy place that um, thrives and isn't burning up and all that stuff right so anyway those are three of my major messages and so I do feel that 
I do have an influent, like an influencer, influential piece to my brand and to the work that I do, right? But I'd probably say that for me, it's a brand first, and then, and then, uh, a, then professional, and then influencer. Now, hopefully, you've kind of thought about that a little bit, and and you kind of understand maybe like how you'd like to start positioning yourself, right? So let's get into brand. Obviously. This is something where, you know, you have a very strong wording with your name, with your title, you have a strong message, that kind of thing. But a brand really is a company that is going to help you live a specific way, okay? So that's all about the branding. It's living a specific way. Um, and also mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, like what can that brand really do for you? So to get back to brand, um, you really are connected with people's individualism. In, is very individualistic in a sense, right? Because people are very connected to the brands, right? So for example, let's look at something like Tom's shoes, right? Tom's shoes that is all about giving back, right? Opposed to say Nike, right? So Nike is all about, um, I would say, kind of like upper class sport, um, professionalism in sports, that kind of thing, where Tom's shoes is more about a natural way of life. It's about a natural way of living and also giving back to those in need when shoes are purchased, right? So it's a totally different vibe. It's a totally different vibe of a brand. So brand is all about providing, okay? So write that down if you're taking notes, providing. Oh, and I do want to mention this too. Brand would be like, like I said, Tom's shoes, Nike, Starbucks, um, whatever, right? Okay. So now influencer. These would be some type of people like um, like YouTube stars, makeup, social media celebrities for makeup, um, spiritually based entrepreneurs that are kind of showing a way of living, um, thought leaders. They don't need to be connected to a specific brand, okay? They don't need to be connected to a specific brand. If you are thinking that you're an influencer, I'd like for you to think like, are you connected to a specific brand right now? And like, what is that really doing for you? And how is that allowing you to kind of, you know, expand with your business? Um, influencers really are about leading through a way of living. Lifestyle, lifestyle bloggers, their personal choices, decisions, decision-based influencing, right? I decide to wear this. I decide to use this type of makeup. I decide to drink this type of drink instead of this, right? There's a lot of health influencers online as well right now, right? So they are a little bit more general when it comes to like their niche. Like it might be like health or it might be just wellness or, or mentorship or clothing or lifestyle in general, right? But it's a little bit, it's a little bit less specific than, than a brand or than a professional, right? So for example, you would think of an influencer as a go-to person for blank experiences. So if you're following a lot of influencers online, you would be following, say, like a makeup artist for your makeup experiences or for your sports experiences or um, your wine and beer experiences, right? These are people that are leading through their own experiences and then you are changing your life through their experiences too, right? Like you're, they're kind of someone that um, essentially like you're looking up to, right? Okay. Sorry, I've got the sniffles. Um, okay. So they, remember how brand was all about providing? They are all about inspiring right? Inspiring through experiences. So if you are thinking, no, I'm an influencer, this is definitely like more up my alley. What is your message? Like, what is your message that you are influencing through? Yes, you could be a makeup artist and it could be very, um, seem very kind of superficial. However, maybe your message that you really want to share with the world is healthy makeup toxic free makeup, healthy living in that way, right? I really invite you to know, influence if an influencer is like the thing that you're like, that's definitely me, I really would love for you to dive more into your message and inspire that way, right? Because it's not just about all the cool places you're going. It's it's about like what's that overall message, right? Like that's huge. Professional. So professional is 
the expert, right? They are the expert because they've dedicated their time um, to learning, to gaining um, value through knowledge and training and all that kind of thing, right? So I think of an expert more as, say, like Gabby Bernstein, right? She's an expert in um, mindfulness, in uh, her personal development work, like that kind of thing, right? Um, Tony Robbins would be an expert, right? So he's an expert in, like, Positive thinking, like all that kind of stuff, right? Um, authors, trainers, there can be health experts, right? These are people that have more of just that expertise nudge to them. And it's not necessarily like an influencer. It's more of like you are influencing the people, but through your training and your knowledge and that sound, that sound um, information that you can give them, right? They are seen as the expert teacher um, around very specific subjects. These are very more, much more specific than an influencer, okay? So you would think of them as uh, the person that can t train you and teach you how to do whatever, right? So for example, if I think of like Colette Baron reed who does a lot of different um, oracle cards and that kind of thing, she's kind of like known as like the oracle card person, right? Like a, a medium and that kind of thing, but oracle card woman online. So when I think of oracle cards, I think of like, call it Baron Reed, right? For example, um, again, if you're thinking you're more of a professional type person online or with your business, you know, why do you say that, right? Have you got something really dialed in and, and nailed down that you can provide knowledge and expertise on? What can you teach, right? Like, what is it? What can you teach? So, like, brand was provide, right? Influencer was inspire. Professional is teach. So how do you position yourself if you kind of understand, like, generally, like, what comes first for you? Like I said, you can be all of these three things, right? But for me, I would probably say that I am more of a, um, oh, it's hard to say, but for some reason, I still want to say brand first because I've, I've always been a brand first and foremost. But I think that that probably is somewhere around, it probably goes brand, professional, influencer for me personally, okay? Um, let's look at a few other little examples that I wrote down. So Gabby Bernstein, I would say that she is a professional first, then an influencer, then a brand, if, if brand at all. Tony Robbins, again, professional, influencer, then brand. Nike would be a brand first, then influencer. Uh, World Wildlife Fund would be a brand then influencer, right? Or maybe even influencer then brand, right? Because they've got a very strong message. So here's how you can position yourself. When I say position, I mean talk to the people, talk to social media, get out there as this kind of, this train of thought, okay? So brand, if you're number one, if your number one is brand, okay? And please let me know if it is in the comments. If your number one is brand, you're all about the why and the reason behind what you're doing, behind your work. Not only what you can provide them, but why you want to provide to them. What does your brand have that is going to stand out more than any other brand because those people, whoever they are, your ideal client, need you, need your brand before anybody else, right? If you look at a couple different brands, such as, I don't know, let's even think of something that's just kind of like, you know, does it like test on it, something that tests on animals, isn't healthy, like whatever, right? That brand is just kind of doing its thing. It's just, it's there. It, you know, it's probably been used for years and years and years, but um, it hasn't really changed its whole um, ID, idea around healthy living, around saving the planet, all that kind of stuff, right? So then another brand comes out that basically does the same thing, but now they um, you know, put money back into saving the earth. They're, you know, um, cruelty free. They do not test on animals. They are healthy. They want you to live healthy, right? That brand is a totally different vibe than the other one. It's like Clorox bleach compared to something that's really healthy, right? So again, the brand is all about the why and the reason of the brand, like why they're doing what you're, why they're or you're doing what you're doing, right? It's the heart behind the brand, the soul behind the brand. What is the soul of your brand? Lead with that, okay? That's the secret. Like, it's so simple. Like, that's the secret.
Okay, let's get to positioning yourself as an influencer. Okay, so brand was all about the why and the reason behind why you're doing what you're doing, and that's why people are going to connect with you. Influencer is about the inspiration and the message that you're sharing, right? Because you don't have to be connected to one brand specifically at all for an influencer. You don't even have to have your own brand. You just have to have be providing the inspiration behind what you're doing and the message. So influencers are all about inspiring people to do and think differently, creating a feeling of not being alone through this idea. So if you are somebody that's like, yes, I think I'm more of an influencer than anything, and the funny thing is like you can still kind of be, not kind of, you can be an expert in marketing, but be like more of an influencer vibe online, right? People are following you. They're doing what you're doing. That's kind of like your thing. That's your, you're not really connected to one specific um, uh, program or a sales funnel program or something like that, but it's all about just how you do it and how you want to show up and show people how to do it, right? So it's about inspiring and the message you have behind it. So it's not just about marketing. If you're a marketing influencer, it's about wanting people to live an easier life where they can make more money and and um, you know spend more time with their family. Like that's more of the message behind a good marketing, right? Um, and again, influencing is all about leading with experiences around your message. So that's why Instagram is full of influencers, full of influencers, because in a photograph, they're sharing their life through photos, right? They're influencing and they're inspiring people through photographs. Um, and that's why there's so many influencers on Instagram. But, and if you're one of them, you know, and I would love for you to ask yourself, like, you know, what what's that message you're influencing with? Is it just like beautiful photos of yourself and selfies? Like, or do you have a message? If you don't, I invite you to have a message because it's gonna be that much more amazing in the end, right? Why would you not want to have a message, right? Like, and I know that so many, um, so many individuals on Instagram, so many accounts are literally just selfie pictures or, um, you know, pictures of bodies or like what have you, right? And whatever, like that's life. However, if you had more of a message that was something strong, that something that you know built the character of your influential brand, whatever that is, right? That's like that's where the magic is. Maybe it's not just selfies. Maybe your message is, I don't know, there was once upon a time where you thought that you weren't beautiful or you thought that, um, you know, there's something wrong with you, but now you've kind of come around and you, you think to yourself, no, I'm beautiful. Everybody's beautiful, right? Like imagine that. Now that's a totally different way of seeing all these selfies of you, right? It's like, oh, that girl has the confidence. That girl has built confidence for herself. She knows she's beautiful. She knows other people are beautiful. Like, you know, it's it's more of that inspiration, right? As an influencer is. So that's how you lead as an influencer. It's all about the inspiration and the message. And if you are a brand, it's all about the why and the reason that people need you. Now, professional or expert, however you want to say it, right? They are all about the knowledge and the transformation that they can provide people. So if you are feeling that like you're a professional first, right, and use the term lightly, professional or um, expert or whatever, the teacher, the trainer, it's all about the knowledge and the transformation. So you're going to get people's attention through sharing knowledge and giving them a taste of a transformation that you can provide them, right? It's not a brand. Right? It's not about like the why and the reason behind what you're doing. I mean, it is like just like a little bit, but that's not what you're leading with. And you're not necessarily leading with just like inspiration through your day to day life, right? That's not it either. It's the knowledge and the transformation that you can provide. It's about providing a serious look at what is needed to make a change in people's lives through your power and through your insight and your knowledge and the education that you have spent a while gaining and building. It feels more sound than anything else. It feels more powerful than, than anything else, right? Because it's all about you spending time gaining knowledge, gaining traction in your own life, in your own business, and accumulating all of this awesomeness so that then you can help someone else and transform their life through what you have gained, the knowledge you have gained. 
it's all about the insight and the knowledge that you can provide. Truly it is. So, okay, so what is your position? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, what is your position now that you've heard me talk about this? Because yes, you can be all three things, right? I would say that I'm all three things. But again, it's kind of like understanding what your soul's work is. Like when I help other people figure out what their soul's work is, things start to go in order. And when things go in order, it's like, oh, of course things weren't working out. Of course I was feeling resistance in that way because I wasn't putting this first. I was putting that first. And that doesn't make sense, right? This makes sense now. So now that you're looking at your whole kind of overall approach online, and maybe the thing is, you know, you've really been getting out there as a professional first and foremost, but that hasn't really been your thing. You're actually more of an influencer, right? You're more of someone that wants to share and, ins and inspire others through the message and their day-to-day -day imagery and day-to-day, -day, like, what their decisions are throughout the day and what they're eating and drinking, all that kind of stuff, right? That's more of an influencer, not a professional in maybe health, right? So this is where you really have to come to terms with, you know, what are you first and foremost? Because that's how you have to lead with. It's very important. If you are an influencer, first and foremost, and you're not on Instagram, what the heck are you doing? Okay? If you are a professional, and I'm going to say professional, I mean, you can really do anything with professional, right? Because in some professional situations, your clientele or ideal client might be hanging out on Twitter, right? I, I don't hang out on Twitter personally because I'm, I feel like my brand is a little bit too colorful and kind of creative for Twitter, but maybe for an author or for a comedian or for, um, I don't know, like just a, a social media thought leader kind of thing, Twitter is the thing to do. It's, it's what there was where their people are hanging out and it's just like their kind of vibe, right? It's a little bit too left brain for me, but you have to ask yourself too, now that you understand this, okay, what is the best platform now for me to actually showcase my brand, showcase my influential decision making, um, showcase my professional information and transformation, right? Ask yourself those questions and it actually just gets more simple and simple and much more easier as you go along. You literally just have to start there. You just have to ask yourself, what is your position and, you know, what is really important to you? Is it to showcase, you know, a solid brand that can help people? Is it to influence others through your decision making and what you do throughout the day, right? It's much more social media centered in being an influencer, right? Or a professional, because you could be a professional and not even be online at all, right? I mean, that's that's kind of old school, but like, yes, that's what you could do. I'm really interested to hear like what you think you are one, two, and three, or even just one or two, it doesn't matter. Um, but that's going to really help you say, okay, this is how I now have to start talking to my people. This is how I now have to start you know, doing my thing online. If you're more professional, you got, what's that transformation you're going to give people? If you're an influencer, what's that inspiration you're going to give people through a message, through your day-to-day -day life? If you're a brand, what is the reason that people need your brand? What's the why behind why you're doing it for them?